What about women who want to get back into the workforce when they've either taken a break or don't have specific experience with a given job? So very important. What advice do you have for them? I relate because I was one of those women and it can be a really scary time, but there's three things that you need to get ready for. Uh, first of all, understand that in today's world, there are so many more jobs available to you, even as an unskilled worker or someone who's been out of the workforce. The pandemic taught us that almost every job can be done remotely and flexible and remote work is the norm. So find a place and an industry that you're interested in and don't think small. Second thing is you want to get your resume a quick refresh and you can do this in 30 days very easily. You can do a Google search and find classes or certifications up your alley. Most of them are free nowadays. Take those classes or certifications, add it to your resume. Then find professional affiliations. Like if I were looking for HR, I would find the local chapter for HR professionals. Join it, add it to your resume. So all of a sudden you've got a few keywords that show currency. And then the last thing is you've got to understand what skills are transferable. And a lot of women go, I, I don't know if being at home or being in the PTA actually helps, but it does. And if you did PTA, the words that you use on your resume are things like collaboration or team build. I worked with a team and managed a team. If you helped with fundraising efforts, for instance, that's sales or cold calling, even marketing. So you just have to transfer the skills into the business language. Let's cut to the chase, Tessa. What's the single best way to find a job right now? Right now, it's the same way you did it 50 years ago. And it is to network, network, network. Because the people that know you can help you land jobs. And if you think about it, the number one hurdle that you're overcoming in an interview is you're trying to make them believe you have the skill set you say you have. But if someone can vouch for you or put you in touch with someone, you have already overcome the biggest hurdle that you have in an interview. People and those connections will never be trumped. Well, those are truly great tips. I think you've given a lot of people hope and direction the next step uh, for their next job. For more tips and tricks to land your dream job, go to the doctors, tv.com.